Despicable Three. Morning everyone. It is 4.40 a.m. and it's half term and we're going to Yaz Island on Abu Dhabi. We've just checked out of Radisson Blue, which is like literally at Terminal 2. The reason we booked that hotel is because it is such an early flight. We take off at 7.40, so we thought just to maximise sleep that little bit. Because as we all know, Jim doesn't have any chill. He would have had us here from midnight if we were coming from home. Yeah, that was the only choice <laughs> for this one. So we've parked up at T2 West multi-storey, which is the opposite end of the terminal. So we're just going to quickly like nip all of our like clothes and stuff from yesterday back to the car and then check in for this flight. We're flying with Etihad, so this is a completely different experience really to what we had before, isn't it? Yeah, that excited. Yeah, really excited. We'll catch up with you again once we're at the terminal. Our last couple of flights here have been with TUI, which is in zone A, so like that first bit of check-in. As I pan around to the right, the Etihad check-in is this zone B, desks one to nine. So we'll just wait for Jim to come back. Then it's check-in time. You excited? Yeah, definitely. What are you most looking forward to about Yaz Island? Probably just it's like the WB hotel itself. Yeah, you're like looking forward box. to the hotel. I love a bit of theming. We're getting close to the front now. So we've worked out the queue was actually shorter if you hadn't checked in online. Unfortunately we had, <laughs> so we've been in this long queue for bag drop. We are all checked in now when something that was a little bit different for that check-in is they weighed your hand luggage. So you only get seven kilos allowance for your hand luggage. I mean ours were like 3.5 and 1.9 weren't they? So we like no way hit that. But I know some people do like to take a cabin case and pack it like you know with like heavy or expensive stuff so just something to bear in mind. Also, now that we've got our boarding cards, they've brought our flight forward by 20 minutes. So it's only like an hour and 10 until we're due to start boarding. We've got to get through security yet and we haven't got fast track. So fingers crossed that that's okay. We'll take that though, won't we? A flight potentially going early rather than late. <laughs> Things gone pretty smooth so far, isn't it? Yeah. Don't say that now. Oh no, he's drinking it, isn't he? We're heading into security now. Wish us luck. It's 10 past five. We'll see when we get through to the other side. We've made it through, but as a family, we were a shambles, weren't we? Well there. <laughs> uh, not me though. All them two shambles, we. Not you. Yeah, you managed to get your bag through without any harm. I accidentally left my liquids in my bag. Money's in our hearts. The good news is, even though mine and Jim's bags needed like the full search, it only took 20 minutes to get through security without fast track. And I must say, when they put the gloves on, they were very, very gentle. <laughs> We've only got about 45, 50 minutes. So our plan is we just want to get some breakfast before we get on the flight. So thinking, this is somewhere we've never been before, it's on the ground floor. I'll just quickly show you the menu. Something I thought that's quite good is it does say if you're in a rush, they can get you eaten in 10 minutes or less. So the options here, you've got morning plates, that'll be more of like a full breakfast. They do eggs, breakfast buns, that's what Jimmy's gonna go for, the full works. Then we've got farm toasts and light to side. So we've decided all three of us, we're gonna get pineapple juices. Jim's joining Jimmy with a breakfast bun and I'm gonna get the avocado smash the food's come out so this is jimmy's bacon and sausage cob jim's got the same over there with the egg and then this is the avocado with some bacon on the side it looks lovely to be fair we are all done and here's a copy of the bill so all in all 48 pound 25 quite a pricey breakfast but it was lovely since the last time we came boots is now opened this was being built the last couple of times we've been here it's not very big but we're just gonna go and have a little look around. Just getting a few bits in here, but also the water's a pretty good price. So for 850 mils, £1.40. So we're stocking up on the water as well. We've got three minutes till our gate's announced and Jimmy's hoping to grab some Mentos, aren't you? Yeah, because airports always have the rare Mentos. So we're gonna head back to duty free. Hey mate. <laughs> so I've got some flavours here that we've never seen before, Fanta Mentos. And just as we've come out of duty free, our gate has now been announced, so it is A12. I'm surprised at just how much is open here, are you? This early in the morning, like Barbarito, pret a -Manger. What's this place called, Archie's? But I'm sure we've been here in the past and it was shut, like, early in the morning. And bearing in mind it is now 6.31. The terminal's been buzzing ever since we got through security. We thought it was going to be like a ghost town. Yeah, it's really, really busy. We've just come up to this sign here, A12, it's an 11 minute walk. So they weren't joking when they said it's an 11 minute walk to A12, it felt like a really long walk, didn't it? About 11 minutes. So if you've got this gate, I wouldn't be sitting in a bar, just hanging about, waiting till the last minute. It's busy around the gate, but what's quite nice is you can see the plane from here. I think it's going to be a full flight. 
for today we did pre-book our seats on the Etihad website so we are all sat together hopefully at like the back of a block so we haven't got anyone behind us and we've got the same seats for the flight back as well yeah which would be quite nice it's now 7 30 and finally a bit of daylight no chance we're getting off on time they are boarding now but we were due to take off at 7 40 and there's more than 10 minutes worth of boarding to go in there so there's a12 just over there and yeah there's a whole lot of boarding to happen what we tend to do though is just take rucksacks on the flight so we're not like jostling for any overhead cabin space so we're not rushing to get up and on the plane so at least we can put our rucksacks just down in front of us can't we and now if you get off within an hour scheduled time you've had a result now we can see it a bit better in the daylight it's a big plane we're on the air bridge now but i don't ever remember being on an air bridge where you can see the pilot and they're like little window at the front here we go so we're going to be looking for 41 a b and c just stepping on now so this is our row here 41 a b and c right at the back you happy with the seats yeah, yeah. for economy there was like three blocks of seats and these ones at the back you're not next to any toilets <laughs> but at the back of the other lots of blocks you were what i find quite nice as well with this seat is there isn't anyone like next to you either so it is literally like just people in front and then i think it's just like the service area here where they like get the drinks together discreet yeah. discreet <laughs> Is it discreet? <laughs> it's not that we want like discreet seats. It's like having a table in a restaurant where you're like tucked away in a corner. Do you know what I mean? On the flight you are provided with over ear headphones. So we didn't bring ours knowing that we'd get these. So that's quite cool. You also get a really nice pillow. Like it is like quite a big like nice cover on it. You get a blanket as well. And then just looking at the seat, this is one of Jim's favourite features that you can have like just a cup holder like without having your full tray down which is quite cool. The telly size here is quite good and then you've also got like a little pop out thing to control it as well. It took us a little while to work out where you plugged in the headphones but we have worked it out now. So just for a heads up for anyone else flying Etihad, it goes at the end of your sort of seat rest here. So I've popped out the little flicker and on here they've got some really good options for films and TV shows but something else that I really quite like is that they have um, a flight camera so if you go to this flight path section here they've got it as a map but then they also have the camera as well so I'm going to click on this just for takeoff before showing you the films so this is our current view now I think particularly because the seats we've got are over a wing it would be quite nice to see the takeoff but from the comfort of the seat here this is quite cool I've not had this on a flight before but like right at the front they've got three screens up as well and that's been having the flight map rolling too it looks like they've changed the camera angle to like pointing downwards now you can see like all the roads and houses trees now that we are up in the air I'll show you some of the films that they have here I'm actually really impressed at the ones that they've got so this is the new movies category and they've got see how they run smile that's quite a new film don't worry darling they've got Thor: love and thunder we've not seen that yet bullet train uh, elvis is one we really want to watch and top gun maverick as well i know jim will want to watch that but something else that's quite cool on etihad flights is they've got all of these categories at the top here as well got loads of um, different films here jimmy's watching um scoob at the moment but like home alone they've got like some of the classics as well all the harry potters which is awesome and then under the favorites tab at the top here they've got a lot of um classic films on here as well so like bohemian rhapsody avatar they've got due date grease pursuit of happiness they've honestly got so many films I think we're going to struggle to pick so there's almost too much choice. Let's have a look under the TV shows as well. This is under the comedy tab. But they've got um, again just lots of different options at the top to like break it down. It's a drama. It's a bit random what series you're going to get like series 3, series 19. Just to show you a couple of the other tabs on here on the food and beverage you can order like drinks to your seat like they're all complimentary just quite nice that you can um, order that you know if you did really fancy a drink you haven't got to sort of press the button and then ask what you want you can just order exactly what you're after 
and then the other tab I'll show you as well is they've got some games so spooky defense angry birds and then I'm guessing you're just going to use like the controllers on the opposite side of this I quite like that if you've got kids and you haven't bought a tablet or anything with you it's cool we've just been handed out one of these wellness kits as well in a little wallet a hand sanitizer sanitizing wipes and a face mask as well so actually now that we've got in there's no mask but there is sanitizing wipes and sanitizer quite nice to be able to give everything a bit of a wipe down though isn't it before you're eating and everything it's only showing as six hours 14 now to get to Abu Dhabi so it's a shorter flight than what's quoted because we had it in our head six hours 55 didn't we yeah. actually six hours for the amount of films that are on here I feel like it isn't long enough don't, don't get off. <laughs> I know it's quite a lot I want to watch. So I'm going to watch Don't Worry Darling now. Jimmy's got Scoob. What are you watching? Maverick. Top work on Maverick. I thought you'd watch that. Jimmy's just had this delivered and it is hot, isn't it? But we've got no idea what said food is. Jimmy's had a little bite and I reckon it's probably a cheese wrap. Big Jim's had a little try of it. We reckon it's maybe like a cheese and pesto type thing. Yeah, of course it wasn't the food. They only did a big bite. It's a lot nicer. Yeah, you like it? They've just come round with their egg and tomato tortilla wrap. It's all warm. Also got a mango juice as well. Jimmy's got an apple juice and I do like how secure this cup holder is. Sometimes they can slip side round the tray a bit, can't they? So actually we think this is what Jimmy's wrap must have been. Egg and tomato. Twenty years ago we used to watch MasterChef and they'd have the palate test. Cheese and pesto, egg and tomato. Definitely taste the best Just thought we'd check back in now. We're about three hours in, aren't we? Coming up to halfway through. Nice flight so far. Very, very chilled. Lots of people asleep on the flight because it probably because it was so early. We haven't quite snoozy, but I'm trying not to sleep so that when we get there we're tired, sleep through and hopefully adjust quite easily. Yeah, so I've got absolutely no idea what we're flying over, but that is absolutely stunning. Beautiful. We are now four hours into the flight, just over two hours to go, and the meals have just come round, so I'll show you what the lads have got. So there was meant to be options for chicken, beef, or pasta, but the beef had run out by the time it come to us, so lads have gone for chicken, it's a curry. Yes, I'll try it nice. So this is the chicken curry. So you also get a bread roll, looks like a little chickpea salad, and then the pudding is this chocolate mousse with caramel sauce that sounds really nice i went for the veggie pasta option this smells really nice as well it looks like you've got some veggies in there too give it a go that was absolutely outstanding it wasn't just nice like plate food it was just nice like second it was amazing and this chicken salad it's lovely and refreshing as well so yeah i've made up with that yet pasta was good but I did just sort of have enough of it after a little while. I'm on the pudding now and that is super super nice. We are now 21 minutes away. We are so close. There we go if you didn't know where Abu Dhabi was on the map. We're just down here. That's got to be one of the best flights we've ever had. Yeah, really nice. Very chilled and the time passed quickly. Yeah. You're happy because you had a bit of live football going on as well for free. I'm just watching the, uh, just watching some injury time at the moment so I feel like excuse me. <laughs> Who's playing? Arsenal Aston Villa too oh. so. Enjoy. <laughs> but definitely in terms of the entertainment and the food, it has been one of the best flights that we've had. The drinks, I've just been on the uh, mango juice the whole flight. Obviously it's so nice. I wish all flights had mango juice as an option. Really looking forward to see what Abu Dhabi airport's like. We've never been before and if I'm honest I don't think we've seen any videos to sort of orientate ourselves when we get there. So fingers crossed we'll be fine. And then it's over to Yaz Island. Ah, you excited? Yeah. We're nearly there now. Five minutes to go so we're just coming into uh, into land and getting our first glance at Abu Dhabi. Don't know if you can see but it's quite a lovely sunset out the window. We we're saying how pretty much we've seen no daylight today because it was sunrise as we were taking off and it's now sunset as we're landing isn't it? It is, yeah, we've seen very little. This is us coming into land now. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> We are just off the planes. This is our first look at Abu Dhabi Airport. It all smells like very clean, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite a nice airport actually. There's lots of like glass and windows and things like that. Very modern, yeah. Yeah, really excited to see after we get past the passport a bit. Managed to get a quick view into departures as a Burger King. <laughs> and to my right out of the window, there's a Premier Inn. 
I don't want to film it close up but you can sort of see it behind us there there's like a glass box which is like a smoking shelter but it's just like in the middle of a corridor this like glass box everyone was blazing was expecting <laughs> Snoop Dogg to appear from uh, out of the, uh, out it's of the so smoke random. it feels like it's, a, it's like a sort of public humiliation <laughs> if you like smoking it's like oh Get in the box. they're so good <laughs> So I was going to mention, just before we got to all of that bit, there was a bit that splits off to the right if you've got a connecting flight. There was quite a lot of people that went down there and then it that pointed this way for baggage reclaim and immigration. So I think we're in immigration hall now, so I'll put my camera away. All in all, about 20 minutes, would you say, Jimmy? Yeah. For everything? One bad at all. But we are here. They said as we were landing the temperature is 21 degrees. It's such a nice temperature obviously because it's February in England, it's cold there. But it's like warm but like not too warm. We hopped in a taxi but we've got our first view of our hotel now. This is where we're staying the next week. The Warner Brothers Hotel on Yaz Island in Abu Dhabi. We were meant to get a transfer with the TUI package that we booked, but we could not work the buses out, so we thought we'd just hop in a taxi. And how much did it come to? I paid 50 dirhams for it or something including like 40, 40 something, so 50 including So that would be yeah. like 10, 12 quid, something like yeah, that, so not bad at all. Worth it for the time, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a show, we've pulled up at Warner Brothers and out the front here, they've got like suitcases for all the different characters, so like Scooby-Doo, a Tweety Pie at the top, I thought it was going to be Hedwig at first. <laughs> but also got Frodo Baggins, they've got Bruce Wayne here and the best one I think is this Flintstones one, just a big old rock. <laughs> Should we go check in? And this is the lobby area here. Oh, it, smells it smells so good. This is the thing I've been most looking forward to seeing because it looks like that that's all folks. Looks incredible. It's so good. They've got all these like big screens up at the back. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. We are all checked in and just as we've checked in, the characters have come and Duffy Duck's here. <laughs> oh, say cheese. <laughs> Go then, bye. Bye, folks. <laughs> It has been a long time since we've met characters, hasn't it? <laughs> There's something quite wholesome about having a hug from a character though, don't you think? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Do you enjoy that? <laughs> you weren't too sure, were you? No, I liked it actually. It's getting a bit too cool for school, I think. I didn't bestow my sweaty self <laughs> upon a character, so. No. This here in the lobby, apparently this is from Westworld, where it's got like the piano that plays itself and you can choose what song you want to play. So there's uh, Amy Winehouse Back to Black at the moment. That is cool, isn't it? We haven't even made it to the room yet. I'm just too excited. So we've checked in here. This is the main lobby where we met the characters. And then over here is like where they've got the seating area and all these like super tall screens. There is the elevators over there, but Jimmy really wants to take the stairs to look at some of the memorabilia. Georgie's boat. Yeah, there's the SS Georgie from It Chapter 2. They've got one of the outfits here from Superman 3. This was one of my first VHS tapes I ever had, Mars Attacks, and they've got one of the little blasters from it. This is the piece I've been really excited to see. It's like the proper alien head from Mars Attacks. That is so cool. At the top of the stairs, that's where Sidekicks is, which is the buffet restaurant. So they do do dinner in the evenings that you pay for, but we do get a buffet breakfast included with our stay here, so we'll be back there tomorrow. We are on level six, and we're room number 649. So we're taking a right. I absolutely love this carpet, and just the whole feel of this hotel is amazing. We are in the room now and I'm in love. Like I'm gonna do just a quick whiz around room tour, but honestly, this hotel is just stunning, isn't it, Jim? It's, not, it's, it's stunning. Not. So as I walk in to the right, there is a couple of slidey wardrobes with an iron, ironing board. We've got some gowns. There's like a little shelf and some like drawers at the bottom. And then over this side, there is a safe here. We've got some more storage down there. Carrying on along from the wardrobes, you've got a Smeg fridge and up above it, you've got a coffee maker with some like branded Warner Brothers mugs. That is so nice. I hope you can buy those in the shop. I'd like one of those. And you've got little Warner Brother like cappuccino things as well. They won't get used, but I appreciate them. Opposite the fridge, there is a huge full-length mirror. <laughs> 
So this room actually feels really spacious, doesn't it? You know, at the end of the bed, it feels like a really big room, like really high ceilings. But we requested a room where you've got two doubles so that Jimmy can have his own bed. And we've got the artwork of Bugs Bunny in our room. What's in the bed? Now, different videos I've seen, there's been like Great Gatsby, Wonder Woman, Superman, like there's, each room has different artwork. So I quite like that we've got like classic Warner Brothers we here. classic, yeah. That's awesome. It's like, the kind of like, honestly, like the most WB character. Yeah. Like, the one I like, when you think of Warner Brothers, you think of Bugs Bunny. And I ain't gonna sense. lie, I'm a bit more of a Daffy Duck stan. Bugs Bunny is like the main one though. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. In between the beds, you have got this proper like comedy cartoon phone. We've seen in some rooms they're in red, aren't they? Now I don't know what's Ooh. in here. Chocolate. shock. Oh, they look fancy. Is that yeah. Ooh. Opposite the bed, there's a telly that's just sort of got a loop going on. But I really like this like little unit that they've got. Oh, is that a comic book? Yeah. Oh wow! See, they provide you with a comic book as well. That's awesome. I think my sister would like this, don't you, Jimmy? Auntie Amy. Oh my goodness, Jimmy's just found something. So over here, we've got like a fruit bowl. <laughs> and then we've got and... the opposite. What does that say on it? Bam Bam. Oh my goodness, it's got little Tom and Jerry macaroon. Oh my goodness. Oh. Let's see what this Ooh. says. Dear guest, like, welcome to the WB Abu Dhabi dudes. Me and my best buddy Scooby-Doo can't wait to check out all the tasty food they've got in this place. Do you think we could find us a chocolate pickle and peanut butter milkshake with scooby snacks on top we're getting hungry just thinking about it sincerely shaggy and scooby-doo oh my goodness and then there's like all this as well jim's just chilling on like the chaise lounge got a uh, speaker system over there as well that's cool at the end of here oh my god right, no i'm opening right it. go on then you open it there's just so many trees oh my goodness that is awesome what is it i think it's cheese and fruits what's that i think that's or is that is it cheese or is that that's like melon Ooh. that's melon and some stuff on top tbh i hope you can keep the box <laughs> <laughs> <You're saying> that. <laughs> that's lovely and then looking out to our view we've got warner brothers world theme park there plus a little water tower so we can sit in bed looking at the warner brothers water tower little water tower <laughs> it's a huge water tower so we will leave our hotel room tomorrow and just cross the road you know just mooch on over to a theme park that has got to be one of the shortest commutes to a theme yeah. park ever i was getting too excited then i hadn't even shown the bathroom <laughs> jim's just reminded me so coming in from the entrance hallway into the bathroom we have got a sink there is a mirror with like all the nice like lights around it and then over here there is a bath Nice little like inlet there with a shower above it. And then the loo just around the corner with the phone next to it. I actually don't know what to do first. Like unpack, tuck into some of that munch, like go out wandering around the rest of the hotel. The time now in the UK, because my watch hasn't updated yet, is 4.22. So here it'll be 8.22 p.m. So it is like even in time. I'd say the good thing like about the flights that we've had today though, is although Abu Dhabi are like four hours ahead of the UK, because we woke up at 4 a.m. to get that flight, I feel like we're already adjusted because that's like equivalent of waking up at 8 a.m. and then like just having your day. So I'm sort of feeling like it's 8 p.m. already, yeah. like an hour or two, and then like get ready for bed for in the morning. Yeah. Also, just to let you know from the check in, they were lovely at desk. He ran through like how long it'd take you to get all different places, taxis, where you can get food. Uh, he did offer us a sweet upgrade for it was like 450 dirhams a night but we could only have it for three nights and then we'd have to transfer to this room and we thought we didn't really want to like split stay over two rooms would have been cool to have a suite for three nights it does make you wonder what the suites would be like in this space but you know yeah. Buzzing with this room. We're buzzing with this, yeah. We've we've never really been like fancy pants people, have we? Um, but I mean, I mean, to me, this is fancy pants, this so we're, like, we're, quite, we're quite happy this stunning, with yeah. this. Uh, breakfast is from like 7 to 11 in the morning. He's run through like theme park times. Pool movies, is it the light? Very good. Yeah, yeah, they do a movie by the pool 6 to 8 pm every night. I think now, should we just have like a dead quick freshen up, go get some dinner? Yeah. And then we'll unpack later when we get back. 
Sound like a plan? We are outside the hotel now with Warner Brothers World literally opposite. We think we should be able to get over to Yasmal pretty easily, so we've come out for a walk. It's such a pleasant temperature as well, isn't it? They, they've got a um, big like quick service like area. They've got loads of restaurants over at Yasmal as well. So we think should, in theory, take us 10 minutes. We can kind of see it yonder, can't we? So we're just sort of heading to the lights, like one of those fish that you get at the bottom of the like ocean. <laughs> Moths, yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to call yourself an anglerfish, whatever it's called. Oh, You're a moth. That's check you mean. out, marine biologist. We've not even got to the end of the pathway and we can see the sign for Yasmol. So where the Yasmol sign is over there, over here, you can see Ferrari World and like some of the coasters. Everything is literally on your doorstep. And then even next to that, that's Yaz Water World. And this was one of the big draws to us for Yaz Island, but also this hotel is just like how close all the different things are. We like ease, don't we? Yeah. We like like the Disney bubble or like the Universal and I drive bubble. And I feel like this has got that bubble feel to it. We've come to our first junction in Abu Dhabi. We just press this here and we're waiting to cross this road here and we're thinking if we can literally just go straight down this road we'll be there in no time just to say this yasmal looks absolutely massive it's also in yasmal where the entrance to ferrari world is so we are going to be coming back here on a few occasions so we probably won't film like a ton today um, but there will be more Yasmal videos to come. It's got a chilies and a cheesecake factory, <laughs> so there's definite two occasions yeah. to come back for. That's all you need to know. <laughs> a certain shop's already grabbed Jimmy's interest up there. They've got a Toys R Us as well up there. Lego. Retro. Lego. Lego store. Oh yeah, Lego store. We're going past a Sephora over there, up this escalator. It's a four-way crossroads, isn't it? We've got no idea where we're going. We can't see food court signposted anywhere. Oh, I know where I will be going. To the right, there's a Cold Stone Creamery okay. approaching, opposite the Lego store. We've walked around for a good 10 minutes, and honestly, this mall is absolutely massive. We think we have found the food court, though. You hungry, mate? Just to give you a bit of an idea of the size of this place, I think I'm going to try and find a map that I can like stick up on screen now, just so you can see all the different like corridors and everything, because it's huge, isn't Massive, it? Massive, yeah, it's a monster. You could spend a week here. They've got a lot of classics here, so there's a Pizza Hut, KFC, there's a McDonald's around the corner, German Doner Kebab. There's some like, Italian places, taco places, shawarma places. We decided to come to Burger King just because the queue wasn't too long, so we just wanted to get ordered at this point. Jim's not particularly hungry, so just me and Jimmy have ordered. We've got a chicken royale meal, and we've got a chicken crisper meal. And the total's come to 66 AED. Jim's not hungry because he uh, went for it on the plane. So he finished off Jimmy's curry, finished off my chickpea salad. He quite enjoyed your uh, plain food, didn't you? I didn't finish off anyone's chocolate mousses though. There were none of them. Oh, yeah, them. <laughs> I finished my own one though. It's all here. Not too much to be said about a uh, BK. Jimmy's got some cheesy fries. But Jim said it was a bit of a shambles up at the uh, station. It was an experience. It was the worst burger. I've ever had from Burger King. It was, it, it weren't great. <laughs> but for Do what, not go there. Yeah, would not recommend. But for what we've paid, we've got something to eat pretty quickly. And we feel very lucky to have a hotel where we have got so many options on our doorstep to, for places to eat, whether that be table service or quick service. We just wouldn't go to the Burger King again, would we? Should say though, it is a Saturday night. Yeah. Sort of half past nine and yeah. it's busy. Yeah. So. It's late, late in, yeah, it's late Saturday, so. But it's done a job, hasn't it? To be honest, I've never, I, th I feel like if you go to somewhere like Burger King, McDonald's, what you get is what you get in it. Like, I, I'd never go, go and complain, but it weren't a great burger. The <laughs> fries were good though. Yeah, Your Jimmy. burger, so I waited for it, had been stood for a while while we're getting the other bits together, so that was probably stood for about 10 minutes. I think that was the issue, when something's like wrapped up in the packaging, it gets all um, the steam in there and so it goes soggy. It was just a bit like that. Before we head back to the room, we wanted to just get maybe some like bottles of water and just some drinks for in the room. And we saw that they've got like a supermarket down here and it is like right on the bottom floor. So you've got like your ground floor first floor we were earlier and then there's, this is like a sub-level sub floor. This is where we're heading into Carrefour. 
Like I said, we're just gonna get a couple of little bits and then we'll head back to the hotel to unpack. Jimmy's just lost his mind at these. Someone sent us some once and we used to order them from Amazon. I've never seen them in a shop before, the Juicy Drop Glass. So these are 1050 AED, so that's about, costs like two pound, two pound fifty. That is cheap for a massive tub like that. I mean, we're not really in the market for sweets and chocolate, but look at this aisle here. This is proper Willy Wonka stuff. As if we need any more excuses. Treat for me, I deserve it. Enjoy with tea, sweet finish. These are really nice tins, 19 mini bars. I mean, they're a lot of money, but you're getting their bubbly chocolate flake and Oreo. I really like that. Just giving you an idea for prices if you're wanting to stock up. They've got these big bottles of mango juice. They're one litre bottles for five dirhams, which would be like one pound, 20, 30 something. It's looking very suspiciously orange, that Fanta. That's 4 75 for a uh, one litre bottle. Lads are getting a Mountain Dew. Three dirhams for that little bottle. It's not bad, is it? Oh yeah, price wise. Decent. Well happy. It is now quarter past 10 in the evening and we're walking back over to our hotel. Plan is I do think we'll quickly unpack the suitcases, try and get a good night's sleep and then be up for seven o'clock in the morning for breakfast, pool time, Warner Brothers World theme park, super excited for that. We're gonna end the vlog here for now just because we are literally gonna be crashing as soon as we get back to the hotel room. So we'll see you tomorrow for a day of fun on Yas Island. Can't wait, see you later. See you later. Bye. So guys, it's the end of the video. So please like, subscribe and you know, do all that good stuff and see you in the next one. Bye bye.